Greetings to you all. Welcome to Class 10, Unit 1, Prose, His First Flight, Book Back Exercise, Part 2. Dear children, already we have done half. Now, let us do from vocabulary. Page 6. Okay. Read the following sentences. Set 1 we will see. It means here we have, here we see all the parts of speech now. The young seagull uttered a joyful scream. Here, the word joyful is an adjective. So, what is an adjective? The word which qualifies a noun. Okay. For example, scream, here is a noun. So, joyful is giving more meaning for the word scream. Second one is, the young seagull screamed joy. So, here joy is noun. So, first, joyful is adjective. Now, this is noun. Third one, the young seagull screamed joyfully. So, screamed. How he is screaming? Joyfully. This is adverb. Adverb means what? The word which qualifies a verb. Set 2. The young bird pretended to be falling asleep. So, pretended, that is verb. Pretended means acting. Second one, the young bird made a pretension of falling asleep. Here, pretension is a noun form. The easy way to understand is, I-O-N means it is noun form. Third one, the young bird made a pretentious posture of falling asleep. So, this is adjective. Note that in the set one, the adjective joyful is changed to its Noun form joy and to its adverb form joyfully. In the set 2, the verb pretend has been transformed to its noun form pretension and to its adjective form pretentious. Fine children? Okay. Now, we can transform a sentence by interchanging parts of speech without changing its meaning. Shall we do? Section C. Change the parts of speech of the given words in the chart. So, here there is a chart and now we are going to change it. Here we have noun. Noun means name, place, thing. Verb. Verb means action word. Adjective. It means the verb. The word gives more meaning to the noun. Adverb. It qualifies the verb. Okay. Exhaustion. Exhaustion means verb form is exhaust, tired. Exhaustive. Adjective form. Adverb exhaustively. The next word is noun form is with. Verb form widen. Adjective form wide. Adverb form widely. Next one noun form is madness. Verb form madden. Adjective form mad. Adverb form madly. Okay, next one is now perfection. Verb form perfect. Adjective form perfect and adverb form perfectly. Fine children. Okay, moving on to D section. Read the following sentences and change the form of the underlined words as directed. First one is, his family was screaming and offering him food. Now we have to change this sentences into adjective. It means the screaming, we should change it into adjective. So the answer is, his screaming Family offered him food. Okay. Next one. The young seagull gave out a loud call. Now we have to change the word loud into an adverb. The young seagull called out loudly. Apo loud. Apo loudly. L-Y we are adding. Third one. The bird amusedly while flying. So the word amusedly we have to change it into noun form. The bird Cackled with amusement while flying. So, amusedly is changing into amusement. Fourth one, the depth of the sea from the ledge scared the seagull. So, now we have to change depth into adjective. Seeing the deep sea from the ledge scared the seagull. Fifth one, the successful flight of the bird was a proud moment. For the seagull's family. Now we have to change flight 
to verb form. The bird flew successfully and it was a proud moment for the seagull's family. Fine children. Okay, moving on to section E. Use the following words to construct meaningful sentences on your own. So we can construct our own meaningful sentence. The first word is covered. A covered dies many times in his life. Second one, gradual. The gradual increase in the temperature has driven the wild animals from the jungle in search of water. Third one, praise. Be liberal with praise. Next one, fourth one, courageous. Courageous people overcome obstacles in life earlier than timid ones. Fifth one, starvation. Rich countries are indifferent to the starvation in sub saharan countries. Okay, moving on to listening practice children. Okay, listening. F section. Here is a travelogue by the students of Government Girls Higher Secondary School, Patakote. After their trip to Darjeeling, listen to the travelogue and answer the following questions. A trip to remember forever. Our trip for this wonderful city, Darjeeling, started with a breathtaking view. We parted the curtains of our hotel room and there it was, Kanjanjinga, the third highest mountain in the world. The entire range was in front of us in full view, snow-capped and dazzling in the sun. Our trip started early in the morning. The next day, we woke up at 4 a.m. and reached Tiger Hill at 5 a.m. to view the sunrise as the place has earned international fame for the best sunrise view. Tiger Hill is situated at an altitude of 2,590 meters and is 13 kilometers away from the city. Although Kanjinjunga was visible from the window of our hotel room, Viewing it from Tiger Hill was a different experience altogether. It was not a very cloudy day, so we were lucky enough to get a glimpse of the Mount Everest. After Tiger Hill, we visited Central Lake, which is another picnic spot nearby. We were told that the lake supplies drinking water to the city. The next spot on our list was Batasia Loop, a spiral railway near Ghum. The loop is situated 5 km from the city and is a gigantic railway loop where the toy train runs and takes a 360 degree turn. It is a beautiful place with manicured garden, streams and waterfalls. While traveling on the toy train, one gets a breathtaking view of Darjeeling's scenic beauty. We would suggest the toy train only for people with a lot of patience as the train travels at a speed of 15 kilometers per hour and covers 14 kilometers in three hours, which might be an utter disappointment for some. Altogether, we had a memorable and enjoyable school trip with our friends and it will linger in our thoughts forever. Now children, shall we do the fill in the blanks? First one, fill in the blanks with suitable words. First one, the students visited Dash City. Where did they visit? The students visited Darjeeling City. Second one, Dash is the third highest mountain in the world. Which is the third highest mountain? Kanjinjunga is the third highest mountain in the world. Third one. Dash Hill is 13 kilometers away from Darjeeling. Which hill? Tiger Hills is 13 kilometers away from Darjeeling. Fourth one. The drinking water is supplied by Dash Lake to the city. Which lake? Central Lake. Fifth one. After Central Lake, they visited Dash. After Central Lake, they visited Batasia Loop. Next one. Do you think they had a memorable and enjoyable school trip? Tell me. Yes. 
they had a memorable and enjoyable school trip next one name a few places that you wish to visit with your classmates as a school trip so i would like to visit darjeeling kanjunjunga tiger hills bitasia loop along with my friends okay fourth one children state whether the following statements are true or false the statements are as the sky was cloudy they could get the glimpse of the mount everest is it right no so it is false okay actually it was not cloudy they could see mount everest so it is false second one the toy train covers 14 kilometers in 3 hours that is true the train moves slowly so we should have patience to sit in toy train third one tiger hill has earned international fame for the best sunset view is it true or false that is true okay finally moving on to speaking section next children will move to speaking section your family has planned for a two day trip to a tourist spot nearby in a reserved forest your father has no idea about what safety measures and precautions to be taken before you start enact a role play on the above situation so here there is a role play so we have to take the roles of student 1 and student 2 it means as a son or daughter and student 2 can act as a father okay these would help you some of the points children important places to be visited food and accommodation mode of transport necessary clothes for two days first aid kit and medicines required if any etc so taking all these points into consideration we are going to do it now father starts hi mary it has been a very long time since we went on a trip let's plan one mary replies yes dad i am also longing to go why don't we plan one for this weekend father sure tell me where shall we go mary some place nearby but for at least 2 days father mm i think we should go to the reserved forest nearby mary yeah i have never been to a forest i've seen a forest only on the tv and movies the forest is a good choice father okay if we are going to the forest we must list out what we should carry with us for two days mary i think we should carry suitable clothes like track suits sweater blankets and material for tent now father what about the food do you have any idea mary now mary replies yes for food i suggest we take bread and jam fruits dry fruits chapatis which will last for two days now father it will be dark if night what do we do mary dad we will have campfire to keep away wild animals we will sing and dance around the fire fine children so i hope you understood you can take the roles and you can do it now moving on to reading section section h read the following passage and answer the questions that follow bunchy jumping bunchy jumping is an activity that involves jumping from a tall structure while connected to a long elastic cord the tall structure is usually a fixed object such as a building bridge or crane but it is also possible to jump from a movable object such as a hot air balloon or helicopter that has the ability to hover above the ground the thrill comes from the free falling and the rebound when the person jumps the cord stretches and the jumper flies upward again as the cord recoils and continues to oscillate up and down until all the kinetic energy is dissipated Jumping heights located in Mohan Chatti village in Rishikesh 
has been rated as one of the most preferred bungee jumping destinations in India at a height of 83 meters. It is the only place in India where bungee jumping can be done from a fixed platform. This is also India's only fixed platform bungee performed from a professional centilever to separate it from entertainment parks and create instead of an extreme adventure zone. The bungee has been designed by David Aldrays of New Zealand. The centilever platform is built over a rocky cliff overlooking the river hall, a tributary of river Ganges. Bunching amidst the vastness of nature lends the experience an absolutely breathtaking quality. Jumping Heights is well known for its safety measures and experienced staff. It cost around 2500 per jump. A bit expensive but totally worth the experience. The bungee jumping experience has been set amidst the astounding, stunning landscape of Rishikesh. To bungee jump, one must be at least 12 years and should weigh between 40 to 110 kilograms. Okay. Now children, using this passage, let us solve the questions. What is bungee jumping? Bungee jumping is an activity that involves jumping from a tall structure while connected to a long elastic cord. Okay, second one, can bungee be performed from a movable object? How? It means, can we do the movable object? Yes, bungee jumping can also be done from a moving object such as hot air balloon or helicopter that has the ability to hover above the ground. Third one, when do you think bunchy becomes thrilling? Bunchying becomes thrilling when the person falls free and rebounds due to the long elastic cord. Fourth one is, what is the experience when one falls off the platform? When one falls off the platform, the vastness of nature lends the experience an absolutely breathtaking quality. Fifth one, where is the Banchi jumping point located in India? Banchi jumping point is located in Mohan Chetty village in Rishikesh in India. Sixth one, what is the minimum age to Banchi jump? The minimum age for Banchi jumping is 12. Fine children, so listen carefully or read again and again, then you will understand well. Now, we will discuss other part, like writing section, grammar part in the next episode. Fine children, do not miss to watch lesson explanation, book back videos in the previous videos. Thank you children.